It's time for some more unboxing and first impressions with this. This is the Pod Express by Line 6. Uh, and I just want to mention right from the start, it was sent to me by the lovely people at Line 6 Australia. So this is what you would call a sponsored video. Now let's check out the box. Now I was told already that this is a, 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 a demo unit that's been sent out to other people as well or other places for reviews and stuff like that. So it's not packaged the way it would usually be packaged. So uh, let's just have a quick look. Get it out of the box and have a quick look. So there's a little cheat sheet, which we won't look at. Uh, should also mention, right, as I'm getting it out of the box, this is a first impressions unboxing video. Uh, I, the whole point of these is, is sort of how intuitive is this pedal? How easy is it to use without looking at the manual, without knowing what to do it, just to plug it in and see what happens. There will be a full video coming up with this. So if there's anything in particular you wanna see with this, uh, any combinations of things or anything within that that you want us to do with this, let us in the comments below and we'll try to get onto it in the video. So this is what the pedal looks like. So we have modulation and distortion. So what is it? Boost, overdrive, distort and fuzz. We've got chorus, flanger, phaser, tremolo. Uh, we have the amps in the middle, which is, which were, what is it? Chime, dynamic, crunch, heavy, lead, clean, and special. Ooh. We've got delays, analog tape, uh, sorry, analog digital tape and pong. And there's a, can you kind of, there, see down the bottom there, there's like a little tape thing. I wonder if that's like a looper maybe. And then you've got reverb with spring, hall, plate, and space. And by the looks of it, it says mid gain, bass, and treble underneath it. And there's an alt button. So I'm going to say, Secondary functions. Are they push buttons too? No. Uh, so that one is a push button. And then by the looks like both of those go to presets. That's on and off. That's tap. And also if you hold it in a tuner, I'm going to say. Um, connections. We have a guitar in, stereo, left and right output. Uh, FS34. So I know you can plug in uh, two foot switches, additional foot switches, or an and or an expression pedal, um, which turns drives or modulations or things on and off but we'll get into that in the full video and on this side you also have a headphone out with a dedicated volume so that's pretty cool um so yeah so now let's plug it in oh and it looks like it's battery powered oh yeah look at that three double a batteries power it um cool so let's plug it in uh to here Oh, and it, the, the batteries work, look at that. Uh, so, but I'm gonna not use the batteries. I'm gonna not use a nine volt. I think it's just a standard nine volt. Uh, that goes here. It's a bit shiny, but that's okay. Let's, let's maybe stick this underneath. There's a bit of TV magic, so to stop it from slipping too much. Let's stick it here. Now, setup wise, <coughs> for this video, and again, it's just a first impressions video, so it's not, um, I'm not gonna go super deep dive into it. I'm just gonna sort of go uh, intuitively how easy is it to use. Now, setup wise, I'm gonna use this Yamaha Pacifica. Um, There's sort of an unboxing first impressions video of it you can watch up here. That goes via my Peterson Strobe Stop Tuner, which is always on my desk, straight into here, and then in stereo, straight into Logic. So there's no amps, nothing behind me used, just whatever you know, amp sims are on it. I guess that's what it's all about. So, is there a clean sound, I wonder? There's not, is there? Okay, so let's just check it out. So if it, that's different amps. So alt, is this volume then? I should be up. Oh, the tuner's on, haha, <laughs> idiot. Is there actually, does it, does this do anything? So the headphone volume is also the overall volume of the unit. I'm gonna say that's the bypass signal. <clears throat> this is just now on the, whatever the first preset is, crunch, I guess. Let's just turn it on and see what happens. So this is crunch. Sounds great. So if I want some delay, I guess I'll just turn this. And then I guess it shows you, so it, it's, yeah, for each section, it shows you the intensity. Ooh, a nice stereo effect. Okay. 
And if I want more of it, I just go until it's sort of on. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Let's check out the next one, whatever the next one is, digital. Cool. Next one, what is it? Ta tape, I think. So that's not. Is it a ping pong? Sounds cool. And is that? Yeah, when you go all the way down, it's a looper to the bottom of it. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, that's the, the uh, delay. Is it, uh, how dynamic is it? Dynamic, let's check out, uh, okay, quickly, reverb. Spring reverb, I guess, whatever that one is. I can't quite see it from here. Hall. Plate, is it plate? Yeah. What's the last one? Space. That's the reverbs. Okay, let's quickly check out modulation. Chorus, obviously, what's that? Flanger. Tap works for that as well. It's a stereo effect too. Oh, and it's a tremolo. Actually, maybe let's for the distortion, let's find a cleaner sound. So actually, first, let's look at the amps now. So let's crunch. What's that? Uh, uh, heavy lead. Ooh, that's none. Clean. Okay, so now if I want some more treble, I'm gonna say you hold alt down and then you move treble. Yeah. And 
And you do the same thing with all of these, depending on how much, if you want some more mids, if you want some more bass. And if you want some more gain. So I'm gonna send the gain down on this a little bit. Maybe send the bottom end down on this a little bit. Now with this, let's check out the drives because then you've got a cleaner sound. Or yeah, actually let's finish off the amps. So we've got clean, we've got special. Uh, and we've got chime. What's the last one? Dynamic. Let's go with dynamic now for the different distortion. So let's boost it. Let's start off by boosting it. Overdrive. Distortion. What's the last one? Fuzz. Holy moly, that's a very um sort of crazy fuzz. Fluttery fuzz. Um, well, it's oh, those. Let's have a look. Okay, it's a tuner. You hold that in, that's a tuner. It was close. Um, okay, and then you push both in, and they have presets. And it goes around in the color chain. So it's three banks. There's the yellow bank. Can you change it? Oh no, that just goes back. Okay, that just goes back to this. So if you go back to this, so you've got the yellow, the bluey, sort of purpley, and the white. That's the three banks you have. And then to get out of it, you push that. Okay, that gets out of it. And then it goes back to whatever you see here. Uh, I mean, that's. And then what? You have this. And this is that. And so just pushing that, what does that do? Nothing, oh, but it doesn't look like it does anything. Um, I mean,
And I mean, that's, it is quite dynamic, and then you turn the volume up. I mean, that was just a quick sort of first impressions, first look at it. Um, the Line 6 Pod Express. It's, I mean, I'm sure there's way more to it. I wonder if there's things like, you know, can you change the um, uh, wave shape of the tremolo? Can you, uh, are there maybe different variations of, um, of the delays, different variations of the reverbs? Is there a way to change certain parameters of the delays and stuff. I wonder, again, if there's an editor. I'm not 100% sure if there is an editor or not. But uh, all that sort of stuff we'll look at in the full video. This was just a quick first look. So big thank you once again to the awesome people at Line 6 Australia for sending this out to us. Big thank you to all you amazing people for watching. And if you've made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe because uh, it does help about 90%. Uh, it's always funny when you watch Rick Beato videos and he goes, oh, 50% of my viewers are not subscribed. But 90% of our viewers are not subscribed. Um, uh, so it does help, you know, if you've, especially if you've watched this much of the video. Uh, please make sure to hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, share the video if you like what we do. Uh, you know, write a comment, interact with us. That, all that sort of stuff helps. So uh, big thank you to everyone for watching. Uh, more videos with this coming up soon. Um, yeah, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.